Hi guys and ladies, how about if we try a combo show today? First we can try a little fishing just to help restock the freezer, then we can try making Jamaican jerk chicken. I'd love if you could join me. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. The ice has been melting, but looky over there, there's a little open water by the overflow. And I wonder if we could catch a fish over there. Let's try this. It's a 1 16th ounce jig with a live mealworm attached. Let's get over there and give it a try. At least I know this method works. Oh my God! Whoa! Whoa! No! It's a nice fish. I don't believe it. I thought this is a snag. This has to be a snag. This is not a snag. It's a largemouth bass. Wow, am I happy. Let's let him go. I had to let him go. He was too big. We're only allowed to keep small ones in Lake Catch a Big One. It's the opposite of all other lakes. We have to let the big ones go and breed and grow bigger. Well, I only caught that one fish. It was a nice one, but it's freezing out here and it's uncomfortable and the north wind doesn't help. How about if we go back in the house and look online for new boats? I'm going to need one this spring. This looks kind of nice, but wow, it's expensive. It weighs 166 pounds. I have to wash this boat and take it out of the water to do so. I better find something lighter. This one's cheaper. Well, it's still 166 pounds, and frankly, it doesn't look too sharp. This boat is way cool. Look, it comes with built-in electric motors. It's heavy, though. It's 175 pounds. It's very expensive, too. Look at that, $4,300. But worse, it's got foot pedals in the way of where I need to put my tripod. I've got to be able to reach right out in front of me for the camera and then turn it this way and that. Well, here's a bigger two-man boat. It'll just fit into my boathouse, I figure. It's expensive, but not considering its roominess. That isn't bad. But I, I just can't imagine me pulling this thing out onto the shore to wash out the spider poop. It weighs 238 pounds. This is more for a gasoline engine. This little Uncle Buck's pond prowler might be just the ticket. It looks a lot like my old one. Look, it has rod holders. The seats look comfy too. And it's got a nice floor for a camera tripod. It weighs 138 pounds. And look at this, the price. It's right. I might get this one. Here it is the next day. Did you see me prevent that fish from hopping back into the water with a little soccer kick? Well, I wasn't able to add any fish to the freezer, but that's okay. I caught a nice one, and I narrowed down my search for a boat. Right now, how about we make a marinade for the star of our show, Jamaican Jerk Chicken. I'm going to start off with a third cup of olive oil. 
Here's a teaspoon of kosher salt. Here's about a half tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Look what I have here. Just what I need. Ground Jamaican allspice. I'm going to add a teaspoon of that stuff. Look what I have here. Sugar twin granulated brown. They don't even make this stuff anymore. This must be 25 or 30 years old. Anyway, I'm going to add two teaspoons of it in here. You see, it's low carb. You could use Truvia now or Splenda. They both make a brown sugar substitute. I'm adding a teaspoon of onion powder now. Look, dried chopped garlic. I'm adding a half a teaspoon. Let's add a half teaspoon of this ground nutmeg. Here's about a half teaspoon of black pepper. Here goes a half teaspoon or more of ginger, ground ginger. Here's a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Here's a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Here's a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme. The recipe says this is optional, but I've got here two tablespoons of this green onion. I've got to mix this thoroughly now. Looky here. I've got about two pounds of drumsticks. Chicken drumsticks. Not real drumsticks. They're too woody. Now let's see. I turn the bowl and I lift the chicken. Turn the bowl, lift the chicken. This has got to marinate for like two hours at least. I'm going to put our marinating chicken in the fridge. But before we go on with our jerk chicken, let's make a little pickled cucumber salad from another Caribbean island, Barbados. The recipe says four cucumbers. Look at the size of these things. Three ought to do it. First, we peel these. I use this mandolin a lot. Once every seven years. Oh, it's working, I think. Oh, yeah. Not too bad. Thin slices. Look how much I have. Well, now I have to chop an onion. I need only a quarter of an onion, but it has to be finely chopped. The recipe says to use a scotch bonnet pepper, but those things are so hot and I can't find them anyway. So, instead, two jalapenos, big ones. The recipe says I'm to chop a small bunch of parsley, and I don't know exactly what they mean by small. So I took like a half a bunch. Barbadians must be very industrious people to go through all this for a salad. Add all other ingredients and mix well. Let's start dumping everything into a bowl, a bigger bowl. Jalapenos, onions, parsley. I need the juice of three limes here. I'm adding one and a half to two teaspoons of kosher salt. I've got enough here to feed the entire population of Barbados. Oh, mmm. You're gonna love this. It's so citrusy, so tropical, so refreshing. It's even worth taking out a mandolin to make this. It's time to get on with the chicken. I'm gonna set the oven to 375. Spraying isn't mentioned in the recipe, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm nervous. This has been marinating for three hours. I'm putting them in our casserole dish. I don't know if I could do this, but let me see if I could drizzle on some of this marinade. Look at this. They look pretty good. I'm going to pop these in the oven for an hour and 10 minutes. While our jerk is in the oven, I want to tell you all the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic. Miss Lulu Cheeks is about to arrive here for dinner tonight. You, you all know that I've been wanting to marry her for many decades, yet she shows some reluctance. Well, I've decided to keep the pressure up, you know? It's time I got to the bottom of why we aren't a couple. It's not going to be completely done, but we're done with the uh, baking part, the roasting part. That's really dark, very dark. Well, here's what we do now. I'm going to turn the broiler on. And I'm going to put it back in the oven for two minutes. This jerk chicken looks more than done. But let me just put it in the broiler for a minute. It's been a minute and a half. It's time to get it out and serve it up. Oh, no! 
Oh, it's burned! Oh! Well, here we are once more with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheese. And thank you so much for dining with me tonight here at my abysmal abject abode. Mm -hmm. And you had the opportunity to partake of my pickled cucumber salad and jerk chicken. And what did you think? Oh, it was delicious. It was a, the uh, salad was very refreshing and the um, jerk chicken was appropriately blackened and spicy on the outside. It not wasn't too hot. Not it wasn't too, hot. too burned. No, was it? not at all. It I should be blackened. I when thought I, it was. When burnt. I think of jerk, I think of blackened. And then on the inside, it was yummy, uh, tender, and flavorful. Most people, when they think of jerk, they think of me. <laughs> Miss Lulu, uh, we've been seeing each other for decades, and I finally have to ask, why can't you and I? finally tie the knot. You don't remember. We disagree on how our children should be raised. Children? Huh? Oh. Uh, can I have a hug?